So this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my exhaust stack. This is an 8 inch stack, 4 inch in, 4 inch inlet, going to an 8 inch outlet. Just one single stack, looks really good. So up in the engine, like I showed you guys before with this air intake, stock turbo, stock everything, stock downpipe, 3 inch downpipe. This is all stock down here. So, um, yeah, so you don't need to mess with anything up here. And I'll show you guys under the truck. Okay. So there's the turbo up here. Three inch down pipe. This is all stock. Kept the stock brackets here. Don't want to mess with that because it's giving good support up to the... It's basically holding the turbo up where it is, so you gotta keep that support. And coming down here, this is the first part, also held on with the, just an exhaust clamp. So 3 inch exhaust clamp, um, this is a 3 inch adapter to 3 inch, for whatever reason, I don't know why I did it like this. Um, and then this is a 3 to 4 inch adapter. So it goes up from the stock three inch to the four inch. And this is just welded on, nicely welded as you can see. Um, so yeah, four, up to four inch. This was all had to be, we had, we were trying to figure out how to do this so that we had filed this all down and tried to make it smaller to fit inside of this pipe. But we ended up just going with a wide band clamp to hold the two together and it worked pretty well. Um, so this is just four inch aluminum pipe now. Uh, yeah, so just one band clamp welded here. This is not necessary. Basically just need a three to four inch adapter. Four inch band clamp to keep the pipe going. And now, you, so there's no hangers down there except for that one. So we had to kind of MacGyver one here where the old exhaust brackets were. I don't know if you guys can see those. So, we just got this, uh, I don't know, hanger stuff, and it's just bolted it, I just put a bolt and nut and bolt around it, and it's holding up on top of this bracket. So this gives it support down here to hold the stock there. Uh, then what we did is we have, this, so this is still just the 4 inch pipe, another 4 inch band clamp, and this is a 4 inch, I, 4 inch OD. No, four inch, four inch ID, and this is four inch, whatever, four inch, four inch, 90 degree elbow. Um, so these hold these two together. This, see, the good thing about the band clamps is that the, when you cut this pipe, because this is all custom, this is obviously not a kit, so you don't have to get the exact right length, because these clamps are like three, four and three inches wide. So there's room for error, which is nice. And then, so from this 90 degree elbow, we go up here and there's, it, this is where it goes into the stack, this right here. So this is four inch OD and this is four inch ID. So it just slides right in there nice. And to make it look nice and clean up top, cause I didn't want to have a bracket hanging, holding it on, holding it stable on the inside the box so to make it look nice down here it's just piece of re per, piece of uh ready rod just cut to a decent amount of length two nuts and the little uh, c clamp bracket off of an exhaust clamp four inch exhaust clamp holding it on there and basically just a long enough wire to go through this cross member here and that holds it nice and steady. As you can see, it doesn't move. Pushing on it pretty good. And yeah, so it is haggard, but this whole exhaust system only cost me about a hundred and... Well, the, just the piping was about 120 bucks. And the only expensive thing was the stack, which I got off eBay, and that was also only like 120. So for 240 bucks, I got a exhaust, a four-inch exhaust stack system. So I think that was a pretty good deal. And yeah, so all stock up here, and then it's just 
three inch down pipe to four inch straight pipe. No mufflers, you don't need mufflers. <laughs>